Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We are back in our Citadel apartment for one last hurrah. Got a few more uh, invite ups, a few more interactions out on the strip, and then we'll uh, get the party started. Hey, Lola. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. The Krogans, on the other hand. They might. Nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. I'm not getting between you and Caden, am I? <laughs> not even remotely. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? It's a lot of responsibility, and you haven't passed the tests yet. I know, and I heard every word you said. I'm 100% committed to this. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. What's there going to be for an N7 to fight after this war? What the hell? No way. Yeah, we're not going to do a uh, 100 pull-ups with James. You could if you wanted to. I actually uh did that the first time I played through the DLC. Just see if there was anything for doing them all, and there's not. There's an ambient conversation around here. Where is it? Now that is a beautiful car. Really? Why? So can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the lead. He brings a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye for talent. Krogan Macbeth.
Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a heat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. You the Vorcha Counselor. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. So, are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory senses. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto-7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. Think there any uh, Hanar on one of those uh, Ark ships that's uh, currently on its way to the Andromeda Galaxy? You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe, now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. The cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Oh, you'll die now. Oh no, the Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorcha scum, prepare for death. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Hopefully that movie never sees the light of day. Yeah, that's
trouble. Welcome to Castle Arcade. Have a good evening. Did you catch the updated intel reports on stripping enemy defenses? It's embarrassing. Gun to use for best armor penetration. As if anyone carries two guns anymore. It's elementary. If you're staring at a hole with a Cerberus Centurion, you deploy an energy drain on their shields. Or just overload them, sure. Turn them up against a marauder, you detonate your tech armor. Exactly. Wait, what? This is a this is a great multiplayer conversation right here. That is true, tech armor is OP. Not as OP as charge. Little space chess. Is this space chess? It's called Cape Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. And just think, we just uh, witnessed a few billion deaths on Thessia and then uh, liberated a uh, Cerberus death camp on Horizon. Now it's... Uh, the tone. A little off. Specialist. Commander? Kick her ass. Roger that. Disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. 
You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia... You had all the warning in the world and the Reapers just rolled in. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash-talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachna either. Or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry to Sousa. This might sting a bit. Oh, random. Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. And we have the man, the legend. Zaid Masani being destroyed by the claw game. Your mind, you bastard. God damn it. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat. Spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? God, I'm right, I do. Okay, then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy, easy. The claw machine. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? Zaid, will another victory ever match the one you just experienced? You're right. Guess you've been around that block a few times. A few too many. Come on, you're buying. Yes, I am. If he had Jesse with him, he could have just, uh, you know, blasted his way through to one of those plush toys. Abominations coming into the room on my left. 
Oh, that's brutal. I remember when we thought the Reapers had the toughest ground troops. Good times. In these troubled times, don't the investors you trust go to the first to remove the division of the no-cost combat. I try to let loose with a concussive shot, but I'm covered in those bees, the swarmers, everything's overloaded. And then this huge biotic explosion rips through the Scion and saves my ass. Asari? Volus. Ouch. He got saved by a biotic god. I didn't go far enough away. I'm an Alliance Marine. That used to mean I was special, you know? Now we got those guys with the crazy destroyer armor. Or those N7 engineers with their grenade pylons. Who needs that many grenades? You carry around all that gear for a supply pylon, and you don't have room to carry your combat drone kit. You want to drop into Sion without a combat drone to watch your back? Then hey, it's your funeral. Out for a night on the strip. Make it unforgettable with a visit to the Silver Coast. I joined up with Turians on this drop into one of their colonies. I was thinking, finally, some normal soldiers like me. Then we deployed, and you know what those crazy birds bust out? Jet boots. Jet boots? I mean, what frontline soldier needs a pair of damn jet boots? It's just showing off is what it is. For the best of army tools and bio amps on the market, visit our Army Council. Yep, the multiplayer in Mass Effect 3 was surprisingly good. Everyone thought it'd be just, uh you know, tacked on. But it was just about as good as Gears Horde mode. Used to be a good Avenger with all the soldier needed. Incinerate and overload. Nothing in the world you can't kill with enough fire and electricity. Now we've got guys running around with whips. Those ex Cerberus guys, I know. It's 2186. Who uses a whip? Cerberus Dragoons. Shame we don't have to fight any of those in uh, Omega. Oh yeah, I was headed to the casino. Fennec, hit the comm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're right. The owner's dead. I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I. By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? It's 
why we hired her. No at all. Even though we didn't use her for anything, really. I don't like the Garrus interaction. Should have some new messages here. You have received a new message. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? She had a pretty lousy plan. You're enjoying this, aren't you? shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. Executing marine life is a reference to the days before the Aquarium VI was 
invented. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on, you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. What's the menu that? theme. There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover. Intel to gather. A commander to save. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I'm a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. You're free to use the apartment. Thank you, Shepard. I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> 